What's cracking everybody? Zerfell Rose here, bringing you some Pokemon Go Battly content. Today's video, we're jumping into the new season of Max Out with one of the most fun Pokemon that I've always loved running in the Go Battle League. That's going to be Ariados. It got buffed twice in this season with both Trailblaze and Poison Sting being given positive move updates. Greninja and Dugong are the back line of choice here. I feel like this team structure is going to be extremely dominant this season. If you don't have an Ariados or you want to run something a little bit more meta, run Claude Sire. And if you don't have a Dugong, for alligator works too. Honestly, you could also run Mandibuzz over Greninja. There's a lot of things that you could probably sub in and out of this team to make it work. This is just my preference here because we're early season and we're enjoying some fun stuff to get started. Now, uh, we did go on a 10-0 run with this team on stream uh, yesterday, uh, so thank you to all of you who hung out with us on stream. We do stream now Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern, but this team was super fun to use, um, and I just, I'm for, uh, real quick before we start the playback, I want to apologize for the scuffedness of the video. I had to rip these directly off of my stream because I unfortunately didn't hit the record button, apparently, before we started, uh, before it started streaming, but we're going to get straight in here. Sorry, it took up a whole minute to get started, but let's get into the first battle here where we've got a Hitmonchan in the lead. Most of this first set here is really just going to be some spice. Now, I've sped the battles up. You're going to see, yeah, like there's there's our goat, Daryl, donating five memberships. Thank you again, Daryl. Appreciate that support, man. It means a lot. Um, so really what I need to make sure of here, and the opponent's running Bullet Punch on their Hitmonchan. So while I don't necessarily think this is a bad matchup for me, and I would normally want to swap out with my Dugong to try and lure something out in the back, Unfortunately, I can't do that because they're running a fighting type with Thunder Punch, and so I kind of have to stay in and just try to play this out. Now, because it has Bullet Punch, it's a lot less lethal than my backline, but I don't want to risk taking those Thunder Punches. They're kind of dangerous. Now, because of the pacing of Bullet Punch into, um, into Thunder Punch, I know I can overfarm by one. We're going to go for the Trailblaze, and we've got a Triple Boosted Spider, and they have a Chief Fisk, and I'm forced to completely use up all the buffs that I got, and now they're gone. But we're going to go for the Icy Wind here. Um, the opponent over farming by a lot. Hopefully that means that even if they have Rock Slide, we can debuff the damage here. The That was a cap tie. So Dugong does win the charge attack priority tie here into the Galarian Stun Fist. And the opponent actually has Flash Game. So like I was saying, right? This first set is mostly just spicy stuff. Um, there are definitely going to be some meta teams coming up. So stay strapped in for that. So... We're just going to go for the Icy win here. We know we win Cap Tie. I'm just going to go for it. The opponent has a Leafy on in the back, and that's Quick Attack. I'm just going to go for the... I, I was going to go for the Icy win, but I'm like, you know what? We're featuring Ariados today. Let's give Ariados a chance to go for the win here. So we're going to take it. Boom! And unfortunately, that poor Leafy on is going to get taken out. Good game. So now I have to try and fast forward. Yep, see? That's, this is what I was worried about, right? Because I can't edit this footage because it's right off the screen. But we get another fighting type in the lead. And I don't know where they're coming from, but this trainer's running Scrafty with Snarl. And them throwing after three Snarls, this can only be a power-up punch, so I will never shield this. Um, if, if you are the opponent and you have resisted damage, right, maybe they have something else that could be like foul play. If, if you're going to throw a pup, at least go for the energy, you know, build up to that next move. Now that we've got Trailblaze and the opponent decided not to shield, I'm going to go for the lunge to debuff the opponent's attack or take out the Scrafty, and they've got a, hold up, a Fury Cutter Gliscor. All right, now I was not expecting um, Gliscor to pop out. I was just like, I see ground and flying, and I'm like, Gligar maybe? But they actually come in with the um, with the Gliscor, and this thing is probably gonna prefer to have Fury Cutter now. Um, and I'm not sure why they're not swapping out here. It must mean that they're very weak in the back to the Dugong here. And I, I wouldn't really call it weak in the back to Dugong. They have Greninja, but it is not a pleasant matchup for Greninja. Up shields and energy, but the opponent no shielding the Icy Wind. Making a really nice call that I was going to throw the Icy Wind here. Now I'm just going to go for the Drill Run because they've been debuffed and they decide not to shield it. Going to pop in with Ariados because once again we want to get the one with the Ariados. And we get a win here, so good game to the opponent. Now the queue times are pretty short, so I'm probably just going to let them uh, let them roll here. I can fast forward. That's nice. All right, getting into the next game, but Ariados into a Slow King. Spicy indeed, but we're going to go with it. This thing is a little bit dangerous if it gets energy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the Lunge because it's a part Psychic type. This bug damage is going to be super effective. It may get a shield. And I'm going to get the shield. And what I'm going to try to do now is go for two more and swap on 15 to get the attempted catch of the, uh, the Surf because now um, it is a straight... I believe 15 water guns to surf now 
that it's been put up to 45 energy. The opponent shielding here is really good for me. At this point, I'm almost confident that my Greninja up two shields and or my Ariados with two shields can do a lot of work into this team. Thankfully, we're getting the Skarmory out here to avoid uh, on the Ariados, which is really huge. But Icy Wind, going to be chipping away at the Skarmory here, and we're just looking to go for another Icy Wind or let them take us out here. I'm, I'm honestly not really interested in shielding. This looks like a really juicy farm down for my Greninja, so I'm actually going to swap it in here. And also, if you all haven't noticed, the switch timer has been decreased by 10 seconds, so now you can swap a little bit quicker, which has been really nice. I unfortunately haven't really had too many games where I've been able to take advantage of it yet, but I'm sure that they're going to come. And another unfortunate nerfed Pokemon at the behest of all the other Mudshot users that were a problem. Swalot now, unfortunately, going to probably fall into more irrelevance. I'm not going to disrespect this, though. Sludge Bomb would probably hurt. So I am going to go ahead and shield that up and get the farm down. And now they've got two Pokemon left. They've got their Slow King. They're going to bring it in. I'm going to go for this Night Slash. Now, I know this is only a Surf. And even if it's not a Surf, I think the only other move that they could have at this point is a Psychic-type move. So I'm just going to let it go here. And then we're going to go for the Night Slashes in order to get the KO. And honestly, we're doing okay here. I can just go for another move and go for the Night Slash. I probably could have farmed up the two moves here, but I was getting kind of low and I didn't want to risk it. So we're going to go for this Night Slash. And then I'm going to pop in with Ariados and go for the lunch for the KO because the Skarmory is that low. And in the set before this, I had two people dump Skarmory on me and made me sad. So I'm going to go for it here because I'm tired of seeing Skarmory. And that's going to be a good game. All right, getting into this next battle here, getting uh, Arcanine on the lead. This is really tough, actually, because I expected this thing to have wild charge. So I'm fr currently I'm looking at the playback and I'm freaking out in my seat because I'm like, what do I do against this thing? It's going to one shot everything on my team. Now, the opponent over farms here and I'm unable to get to a drill run and they don't shield it. Maybe they were calling the Icy Wind and I'm fine with this. As soon as this thing is gone, I have a very healthy Dugong and I'm getting rid of one of the like hardest things for my team to deal with. So I'm fine with shielding here. And it was just a Scorching Sands, thankfully, so that's totally fine with me. Uh, I didn't even know that thing got Scorching Sands, to be honest. I didn't even I didn't even realize that was a thing. But the opponent's going to come in now with a Glaring Rapidash, and as much as I... I think this is a triple Shiny team, maybe. There's two Shinies on the board already. Uh, and I love the Rapidash, right? Like, Rapid Glaring Rapidash is one of the most fun Pokemon that I've ever used in GBL. Like, those, those glassy, spammy Pokemon that, you know... They, they require that, you know, perfect management of energy and all that to play. They're very fun for me, so I just enjoy them a lot. Ariados, Greninja, uh, Ariana, another couple of examples. But the opponent has a Shadow Honchkrow in the back, and I respect this spice, and I salute this trainer as we get to Ice Shard down. And then we're going to be able to go for Icy Winds at this point. I mean, Dulong pretty much 1v3s this whole team, so... <laughs> We're just going to be able to go, um, they're going to, they're going to take us out here, uh, with the body slam most likely. And, uh, no, Dugong actually, actually lives and allows us to 1v3 fully with the Dugong. So Dugong pulling out the boss sticker here, being an absolute monster going for the win here. Good, good game. And I, I mean, I still respect the spice, even though, you know, you all saw it. You all saw what happened. So let's get into this next battle here where we've got Ariados on the lead. I think we're leading 3-0 or 4-0 in this current set. We're going to get into the next game here where we've got a Glaceon again. Some more spice on the opponents, right? This whole first set was pretty much just here. We're going to run just whatever. It's not going to be particularly competitive teams, but it's still going to be fun stuff. And then the second, the second, uh, the second... <laughs> See, they come in with an Oracorio, and that messes me up because I'm like, is that a Zapdos? What do I do with a Zapdos? This thing kind of destroys my face. So... No, the opponent is going to have an Oricorio in here, and, and, and this is just, this is not a particularly good matchup for the Oricorio, as they are running Air Slash, Air Cutter. Dugong is going to get a full farm down here. And once again, Dugong just kind of coming out as the MVP. If you guys are still watching, by the way, I know that these are kind of like, oh, meh, they're, 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 they're against, you know, not good competitive teams, and, and we're not shaming here. We respect the spice regardless but um you can skip ahead to like the second half if you really want to see the meta teams because they did pop out for alligators bastidons and all kinds of things in between were uh were present there now i'm just going to go ahead and get this farm down i thought the opponent might get to a move here but they get, get the farm down here and they have a greed in the back and this is pretty much i mean this this was probably over as soon as we saw the glaceon to be honest no disrespect to this trainer for running Glaceon. I think that that's an awesome Pokemon. I love the Evolutions in general. I wish they were better in PvP. I really do. Um, but we're going to be able to Icy Wind this thing and then just go straight for the lunge here to get the KO. Again, Ariados just coming in, putting on its I don't care glasses and going for the lunge for the KO. Good game to this opponent. 
And that's going to pop up with a 5-0. So that's the first set. We had a good time. We're going to collect our, our uh, rank up here and try to skip along into the next set if it would load. That's okay. Here we go. All right, we're doing it live. We're doing it live. Ariados into Machamp. Now things are gonna get to, gonna get to turn up a little bit here. Machamp absolutely cannot go anywhere near my back line. It's a 1466 Machamp. I think it's just a not great IV Machamp. Now here's the dangerous thing is if that Machamp lands one Stone Edge, it doesn't matter if I debuff it or not, I lose. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go for the Trailblazes here because those are gonna start buffing up my Poison Sting damage. And I'm gonna shield once. I'm like, I knew, I figured it was gonna be the Cross Chop Bait, but I didn't want to... Um, I, I, I just didn't want to risk it, right? But now they go for the Stone Edge now, and now I feel like I'm in a good position. Even though I lose charge attack priority, I'm going to get this Trailblaze off. The opponent essentially either gives up their other shield or lets the Machamp go, and that's a load off my mind because the back line does not want to see Machamp in the least. Opponent has a Feraligator, and here's the neat thing and why I actually chose Ariados as my lead, because Ariados actually wins the evens against the um, Feraligators because it can land the Trailblaze and it wins charge attack priority. I'm actually going to let this go here. I was hoping to try and catch the Hydro Cannon, but honestly, I'm very fine after we get rid of the um, the Machamp and we're going to let this go. It's a debuffed Hydro Cannon here. The opponent's going to go for energy. The Greninja can tank this move. I am going to end up trying to over farm here and go for this Night Slash when I have some energy, but I am very, very close. They're very, they're at a move now. They're at another Hydro Cannon here. So I'm going to swap into my Dugong to get the catch. They had very low HP. They have to basically go immediately for the move and they get fast move down. And here comes Claude Sire being one of the meta staples that it is now. If you don't have a Claude Sire, I definitely would recommend having one. It's going to be more than dominant. Beats so many things that it really doesn't deserve to beat anymore because of the poison sting damage increase. But Dugong and Greninja are fine here. If I'm not mistaken, my Greninja is either one off a move or has a move banked. And at this point, I can just go for the Icy when the opponent concedes the match knowing that it's over. Good game. All right, right into the next one here. Love it. Tropius on the lead. Now, this is going to be problematic. This thing has Air Slash, but bless my lucky stars, and thank you. The opponent is running Razor Leaf. So, Razor Leaf is exactly what I need this thing to run when I have R8 O's. The Poison Stings and Lunges are going to add up, and I didn't think the opponent was going to shield since they're staying in with this matchup. Also, they only went up to nine Razor Leafs. I was like, wait a minute, isn't this... A yeah, it's a Leaf Blade. They basically, they threw before I could get my second move done. Um, so that told me that they were only at a Leaf Blade because Air, uh, Aerial Ace, I believe, is another move. And it's a little bit more. The opponent has a Bastion on. And I'm like, wait, Fairy? Oh, it's Gardevoir. They're running the D-Gen fast moves. And we have Dugong and Greninja here. We've also got... The Ariados, everything is on this team and ready to rip through this opponent's Bastion. I am so ready. They have to shield this. They have to. And then they are they lose. Because Greninja into Bastion, no contest there. Opponent giving up their final shield. And Dugong's bulk is just absolutely insane. We get to fast move down the Guard of War, and they're forced to come up with Bastion. I for a moment thought about coming in and just bad manners trying to go for Ariados uh lunges and whatnot. But I'm like, no, I'm just going to come in with Greninja and finish this because I don't want to be that rude yet. But they definitely deserve it for running a team like this, and they concede. Good game. Let's go. <laughs> so we're getting into this next game here, right in the middle of the second set. And Ariados is going to be on the lead facing off against the Claude Sire. This is not a great matchup for the uh, for the Ariados, so I immediately swap into my Dugong here in an attempt to hopefully get them to swap out. Now, the Claude Sire could definitely stay in, go for the Stone Edge, and get a free shield off of me, which I think might have been the best play for the opponent to do here uh, in hindsight, but they're going to come in with a Feraligator, and I am just looking to draw this out here, um, because honestly, even um, even Ariados can do okay against the Claude Sire if I don't get a ton of energy or a shield. Like, if I have energy or shield advantage, I'm okay. One Stone Edge does not knock out after a lunge or two, but it has to be after a lunge or two. Opponent hard swaps into the Claude Sire here, and I'm like, dude, are they really about to get my other shield with a Stone Edge? So I shield up because I feel like I have to when they have a Sludge Bomb, and now I feel really, really kind of sh in shambles here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this game. We go for the Icy Wind here. That's going to get the final shield, and I'm going straight in with my Greninja, and at the time, I wasn't sure if this was a fully powered up um, Claude Sire, but it in fact is, gets knocked out by the Hydro Cannon. Boom! 
and the opponent has a superior in the back and this is actually a little bit dangerous i over farm on purpose here i don't want the opponent to be able to over farm they go straight for the frenzy plant maybe they want to be able to take me up before i throw my energy Ariados is going to come in but because Ariados got the move uh or got the energy lead here by swapping in the opponent's not going to be able to get to a move trailblaze is going to knock out the Feraligator, and then we're going to be able to go for the lunge and with a blaze a trailblaze boost this should be enough to knock out, and my goodness, I'm just loving Ariados in this new Great League meta. It's so much fun. We've taken out the tr the uh, superior, and that's a good game to the opponent. Oh. Have we have we lost? Okay. Doing this on via YouTube is weird, man. I don't like it. Hopefully next time I can just remember to record stuff. So Ariados on the lead in the next game against the Zumeral. Now the thing to remember about Ariados is that it doesn't have a ton of ball right and so if i had cross poison here probably would be better but going for trailblaze it's going to allow me to do super effective damage and hopefully get a shield off the opponent i'm going to shield one time here and only one time because i think that i should be able to go for a lot of energy here and make the opponent feeling they maybe feel pretty pretty uh in a tight spot here with Ariados. Going for Trailblaze number one. The opponent shields once. I'm going immediately for the second Trailblaze here. And if the opponent decides to shield this one as well, I am shielding and I'm farming this thing all the way down. Because I have so many boosts right now and I don't even know what they have in the back. But at this point, I feel like I want to get the switch uh, advantage and they come in. They safe swap, no less. A Carbink. And this is why I think Carbink is not going to do well in this meta, because there are going to be teams like this where you're going to have things like Greninja, Claude Sire. This is a very risky team, or a risky Pokemon to have in this current meta, where there are just so many things that just beat it so badly. Now, the opponent's uh, going to have a bad time here because they did not get any energy on their uh, Azumarill before swapping out of it. So, I am going to be able to go for a Night Slash. Greninja's going to knock out the Azumarill, and the opponent has a Claude Sire in the back. And this is just going to be a win here, as we're going to be able to get the Greninja to get these Hydro Cannons off. And also, Dugong is at full HP in the back. I'm just going to go swap an Ariados to make a cheeky little catch here to give Ariados even more play into this team. Stone Edge knocks out the Ariados, and Greninja's coming in to finish the job with the Hydro Cannon. Could have gone for the Night Slash, but we like going for Hydro Cannons because it hits harder and we like, you know, we like damage. So that's going to be a good game here to the opponent. Played around that one, it was kind of difficult to be honest. All right, we're still on an unlo unlosable streak here. This team undefeated, at least in these games. So this game, however, we see a Unovan Stunfisk, a bit of a core breaker to this team, and they throw in four, and I'm like, wait a minute. Nothing got buffed on this thing. It has to be Muddy Water, and it was. So there is no attack drop from the Muddy Water. I'm going to go for the Cap Tie on Trailblaze here, and I'm going to actually look to try to catch the next Muddy Water on my Dugong. So the opponent now is going to go for their move, and I don't know what their other move is. Maybe it could be Discharge, which is why I'm not apt to swap out right away. Uh, but the opponent and I are going to go for moves, and I make a mistake. I swap out too quick, and I swap... Uh, like, I was basically trying to catch the move there, and the opponent also swapped out with the energy into the Hypno. So this is the worst matchup on the team for the Hypno for me. Because I would have liked to put Greninja in here, but also Ariados could have thrown that lunge before getting out. So I over farm by a bunch. The opponent has Shadow Ball there, showing me that they probably have like Ice Punch or Fire Punch. They go for the Shadow Ball here. We load up to just shy of two Icy Winds and we get to throw that energy. We're forcing the opponent to throw here. And I'm just going to farm all the way down because here's the thing. The opponent has, um, the, the, they're going to come back in with the Stun Fist. I don't think they're going to throw the Muddy Water. They're probably going to try to get the farm down. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go for the Icy Winds. Going for two Icy Winds here if I can get to them. Hopefully. I know I'm getting one off. And can I get the other one off? Just barely. Dugong, the monster that it is. These PvP IVs paying off. Getting an Icy Wind off and taking out the Unoban Stun Fist. The opponent's got a Talon Flame. This game is over. My Greninja comes in and has such incredible pacing into the Talon Flame that it's not going to be able to even get to its second charge move before my Greninja is going to be able to. We're already at almost two moves here. The opponent is at four incinerates, which means they need one more, but we also just need one more Water Shuriken to get to the Hydro Cannon. So we are lining up a win despite what could have been a really awkward situation if the opponent had shown, like if they didn't have uh, Muddy Water. <laughs> We would have been in a we would have been in a really rough spot, but I think that Trailblaze and all count catching the moves could have really paid off for us here. Picking up that next 5-0, dude. This team goes 10-0. And like we said, dude, that whole second set was just nothing but meta teams. 
So we're going to catch a Squovin here because why not? Um, and that's going to do it right for this team video. I just, I really wanted to have fun with Aritos. I just, I haven't had, I haven't been able to use it since the last time we had Love Cup in the Great League. So that's, that, that was really the basis. And then I just kind of built a team around Aritos and it really worked out very well in these early ranks. I think that this team has potential to come back in a big way once the meta kind of settles down and things are not quite as wild westy as they are. Um, again, if you don't have an Ariados, you can run Claude Sire, probably the more consistent option. I just like Ariados because it's fun. Um, and then Dugong could be a Feraligator, Greninja could be a Mandibuzz. You could do anything really with these, uh, with these Pokemon if you want to. But that's going to do it for me for today's video, guys. Thank you, as always, very much for watching and appreciate if you watched through this, the scuffed stream capture. I promise the next video is going to have recorded footage and it won't be so scuffed. But that's going to do it for me for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you're enjoying the new season. Bye-bye.